Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to Biosciences with Shatrin Sawati. And today I am here to discuss about the role of progesterone in pregnancy. In my previous lecture about the progesterone, I discussed in detail uh, each and everything related to the progesterone, like the biochemistry, like the production site of the progesterone, regulation of the progesterone in normal level. But today I am going to discuss about the uh, production sites in the female role of the progesterone before and after pregnancy and the role in balancing of the estrogen and side uh, synthetic progesterone side effect during the pregnancy so before starting my lecture i have a very humble request to do subscribe my channel if you like my video share my video if you are sharing my video you are sharing the knowledge so keep watching keep sharing knowledge with other okay now, what is basically the progesterone? I have discussed in detail in my previous lecture that progesterone, that word is uh, derived from the uh, prog, or uh, you can say that it is also known as the P4, and this is the pregnancy hormone. Progesterone helps the fertilized egg be implanted in the uterus to establish a pregnancy and help maintain a healthy pregnancy. Is it clear? Women naturally produce progesterone in the ovaries and the placenta and the adrenal gland during pregnancy. During fertility, uh, treatments such as IVF, IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. Progesterone is often given because the uh, medications used in the process produce a women's uh, natural production of the hormone. Is it clear? So this is the little bit information uh, related to the progesterone uh, uh, during the role uh, in pregnancy. So I am now going to discuss each and everything in detail. So what does progesterone do uh, in pregnancy uh, from the beginning of the ovulation to the uh, formation of the placenta I will discuss each and everything in detail okay so first of all the production site in the female you can see here this is the ovary I have discussed in detail in my previous lecture that how the progesterone is produced in the ovaries uh, as uh, I am, uh, we are familiar that the progesterone not only produced in the ovary, it is also produced by the uh, adrenal gland too. So in the ovaries and in the placenta, how it will produce, I will show you. In the ovaries, what will happen after the ovulation? You can see here, here the this is the follicle. This follicle actually uh, protect the egg from the injury. Then what will happen when the ovulation occur? means ovulation means the release of the egg from the uh, follicle then this rupture follicle converted back into what into the corpus luteum is it clear now what will happen when the ovulation occur then that rupture follicle converted into corpus luteum and corpus luteum later on uh, during the pregnancy help to uh, maintain that pregnancy by producing the progesterone so this progest uh, uh, corpus luteum act as a gland and produce the progesterone this progesterone also affect the estrogen level too and i will discuss in detail about the estrogen role in the pregnancy in my next lecture so what will happen this progesterone which is produced by the corpus luteum and how the corpus luteum is produced by the uh, it is produced by the rupture follicle. So this, uh, when this formed, when this corpus luteum is formed, it acts like a gland and produces the progesterone. And that progesterone then maintain the uh, pregnancy and uh, uh, help to uh, what do you help in the luteal phases. And in the luteal phases, what will happen? The uh, endometrium or the inner lining of the uterus become thick for the implantation of the embryo. Is it clear? Okay. Now, progesterone is produced in high amount in the ovaries by the corpus luteum, as I have shown in the figure that how the corpus luteum is produced and uh, how uh, the progesterone uh, produced from the corpus luteum and work from the onset of the puberty to the menopause. It is also produced in smaller amount by the adrenal glands and 
to a lesser extent progesterone is produced in the nervous tissue too during human pregnancy progesterone is produced in increasingly high amounts by the ovaries and then uh, uh, after that uh, uh, for, uh, for 10 weeks it is produced up to 8 to 10 weeks it is produced by the uh, corpus luteum in the ovaries and after that when the placenta is formed then this uh, production is carried out by the placenta is it clear if the women does not pre get pregnant during the, uh, this time the gland breakdown means the corpus luteum breakdown then progesterone decrease in and uh, menstruation start or begins is it clear okay now the progesterone level in the female in women progesterone le uh, levels are relatively high uh, sorry low during the pre ovulationary phase of the menstrual cycle rise after ovulation must keep it in your mind during the pre ovulationary means pre ovulationary uh, just the start of ovulation this will become low and rise after ovulation because after ovulation the uh, rupture follicle converted into corpus luteum and the function of the corpus luteum is to produce the uh, progesterone and elevated during the luteal phase and the luteal phase is that phase in which the uh, lining of the uterus as i have shown here this is the uterus and the inner lining endometrium of the uh, uterus become thick for what it uh, are simply you can say it prepare for the implantation of the embryo uh, uh, embryo and to maintain the pregnancy is it clear okay now i'm going to discuss the progesterone uh, uh, effect during pregnancy or the role of progesterone during pregnancy and the after pregnancy so here uh, i'm sharing some points with you that it prompts uh, bodily changes help develop fetus prevent muscular contraction uh, until labor and strengthen pelvic wall muscles and what will happen after the pregnancy it plummets uh, post birth low level allow uh, prolactin to function for the nourishment of the baby are you familiar with the uh, prolactins okay normalize with the menstruation is it clear okay now before pregnancy the hormone progesterone is secreted during early pregnancy and prepare the uterus for pregnancy as i have shown you in the figure it causes the uh, little phase to start and transform the endometrium by thickening it uh, to uh, received an embryo means for the embryo implantation uh, the progesterone prepare the uterus and the uterus inner lining the endometrium become thick okay now during pregnancy what will happen must keep it in your i'm sharing with you here the ICG hormone. ICG is the human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone. And this human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone actually uh, release when the women get pregnant. And this ICG is uh, give the signal to the ovaries to continue to produce progesterone. Must keep it in your mind. But in the normal cases, what will happen? This proge uh, progesterone is under the control of the TSH. TSH is the thyroid stimulating hormone. It is also during the pregnancy, it is also under the uh, uh, control of the uh, TSH. But the most important uh, uh, hormone, which is HCG, which is human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone, also play a role and uh, give the signals to the ovary to produce large amount of the progesterone. Is it clear? So HCG prevent the onset of her menses progesterone then continue to produce uh, nourishing the fetus as it start to grow after eight weeks of the pregnancy the placenta take over progesterone production and increases uh, production until the baby is born is it clear so uh, two points uh, i'm going to clear here number one the uh, 
TSH hormone, uh, which is responsible for the regulation of the progesterone in the body. And the, if the women get pregnant, what will happen? HCG hormone releases and that hormone gives the signal to the ovary to continue to produce the progesterone for maintaining of the pregnancy. Is it clear now? Okay. Now the uh, progesterone help in uh, balancing the amount of the estrogen in the female uh, body during the pregnancy. Estrogen, the primary female sex hormone, stimulate the growth of the tissue inside the uterus. I will discuss in detail about the role of the estrogen in my next lecture. Now, to prevent the uterine overgrowth, progesterone shows uh, slow this uh, activity and uh, redirect growth elsewhere. Is it clear? So you can say you can say that the uh, progesterone help in maintaining the amount of the estrogen. It prevent the overproduction of the estrogen and uh, to uh, what to prevent and redirect the growth. Is it clear? Okay. Now the synthetic progesterone side effect during pregnancy i'm sharing with you some information in 1999 the fda food and drug administration found that using the synthetic progesterone may be associated with the birth defects synthetic progesterone is primarily derived from the male hormone testosterone be careful when under um, going progesterone treatment to may uh, to make sure uh, you are not using the synthetic progesterone, always consult a doctor when uh, considering taking progesterone during pre pregnancy. Is it clear? Okay. Now, the common side effect include the drowness, fluid retentions, are blotting, hot flashes, depression, vaginal discharge, urinary problems, dizziness, abno abdominal pain, are cramping, headache, breast tenderness, and joint pain. I hope so. The lecture will be clear upon you people. If you have any question, kindly share it with me and I will try my best to answer you. Uh, I hope so. Uh, you are enjoying my lecture and uh, I'm waiting for your feedback and thank you very much. I will be back soon. Till then, Allah Hafiz.